we are in the Roman Street Gardens, Parklands, Gardens, mm -hmm. whatever it is, in, in like Brisbane. That. It's actually in the centre of town. It's on top of a railway station, would you believe it? And absolutely amazing, the, the work that they've put in here. And, um, you know, this is obviously someone's creation. And boy, do they do a great job. You know, the, the amount of flowers I'm currently looking at, like I know you can see some behind us, but the ones in front of us are just amazing. Anyway. We'll, we'll put, take our word for it. Yeah. We'll put <laughs> some photos up later anyway. But hey, we just wanted to touch base. Um, and um, first of all, Happy New Year. We've been missing you. So, of course, here we are doing a video. <laughs> And um, we want to just talk about true freedom and what it really is, because I think we're under a, a bit of an illusion a lot of the time about what freedom really is. You know, mm. we, we start to look at what other people define as freedom and we try to compare where we're at in relation to that. And um, it's often difficult to know exactly what it is that um, we're actually trying to create for ourselves and to define that's actually gonna make life a lot easier for you. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a really, um it's kind of subjective really isn't it freedom yeah. true freedom is subjective <laughs> because it's like it's not um relative to anybody else except for you and and what true freedom means means to you so if we find that we're inheriting our um perception of what freedom is from somebody else and that's then what we're going for that's how that's our benchmark mm. you know that we're we're kind of playing by then we're kind of we're running in the wrong direction right from the get-go because um, that's that's not our true freedom, you know. So, mm. um, yeah, I think that's important, isn't it, to yeah, know absolutely. what is important to you and and what really what really matters, so that then you can you can create true freedom in your world because there's no comparison between your true freedom and somebody else's. It's um, yeah, no. I mean, for some some people, they dream of having a lifestyle where they can stand on rocks and do incredible yoga poses with the sea as the backdrop like that's amazing for others that's just terrifying <laughs> you know and, and but you know it's like oh that all looks good in the moment oh that's amazing oh, I want to create a lifestyle like that or whatever it happens to be um but you know really we need to know what's true for us and to go about creating that as a as an end result for ourselves and to also uh, understand that it, it's just a matter of stepping in and doing it being in the flow of creating what's true for you so you're going to know what it is you're going to take the action to do that and then and follow through and be true to yourself what, what's true for you in you know what did you come here to do what are your gifts and talents what are the the particular uh, desires that exist in your palette of life that you want to actually experience and bring through mm, yeah and, and a part of that you know a part of achieving that freedom is to <laughs> To know yourself as well you know to um definitely to be clear on what you're going for clear on what's what's really true for you and, and also clear on what are those things that make up your belief structures of incompleteness you know the things that um that you tell yourself uh about how you're not enough you know and, and how that shows up in your life when you're going for the things that that you love you know um i think it's that that self-awareness creates um a deeper level of self mastery Absolutely. and you know that that gives you information you know yeah. to be able to work with yeah that's for sure and that way we're not also subject to buying into the fantasy of how things should be or how they should look to others it becomes you can become so much more in our reference self-reference you know is this true for me how am i how am i in this moment you know is this the fullest expression of who i am or what i came here to do and uh, that's far more fulfilling than what does it look like outside of you what does it look like on my Instagram or my, my Facebook or all those sorts of things? And, you know, once we start to leave from that state, then sure, put things on Facebook, put things on Instagram, but it'll be authentic. It'll be coming from the truth of who you really are. And it'll have a flavor very different from staging things and making them look a certain way through illusion and fantasy. And um, that's never going to save us. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And remember, you know, as anybody living their truth, um, it's going to be... Um, you know, at, uh, impacting the world, impacting the lives of other people and inspiring other people to also go about their life in, in whatever way is true for them as well. So that's the beauty of it is we don't, we don't need to try and stack up to somebody else's truth. We need to know what's ours, you know, and, and just make it about that. And, and as you do that, you know, you're, you're contributing and you're being of service to your heart, honouring your heart and being of service by nature um to to others in the world as well so um yeah authentic mm. living absolutely 
which is very different from the fantasy of what you think you need to be doing in order to show up in a certain way because then it's all about you and your identity it's about resolving the things that you think are not good about you or the, the few things that you think are good about you so uh, we want to capitalize on actually the truth of who you really are so that's how you get to live the true freedom know what's true for you. if you don't like traveling don't don't you choose to put tra travel in your world if you love traveling put tons of it in but you've got to know where it, what's what's sitting in your heart yeah. what's true for you and then do that yeah, brilliant yeah recipe for 2023 yes make it a good one yeah all right see you soon see you soon